wary. I can tell you, look, the people around him, especially, and the key person on this watch is Jake Sullivan, uh, the incoming national security advisor. You know, Jake has written publicly about his views on China and, and how his views have evolved. He's become more hawkish to use, a, you know, the shorthand. Um, but it's smart hawkish. I mean, he sees that we're, we're going to need China on various issues like climate, for instance. Um, what, he, what I don't expect the Biden administration to do is to get drawn into some of the more primitive forms of xenophobic uh, sentiment that percolates through both the House and some of the Senate these days that is essentially just substituting China into uh, the old Cold War analogies. And that is not a strategy. I mean, the idea that we're going to contain China or uh, is, is not a realistic reflection of the level of economic interdependence that we're in. This, I mean, speaks to New Zealand's uh, situation that, you know, in a sense, the United States, if it's being honest, has tremendous reasons to want to have a robust economic relationship with China. I mean, we are at this moment opening a Starbucks in China every five hours. I mean, this is not, this is not immaterial for us. Uh, just, you know, go talk to Elon Musk about his economic linkages with China. He's built, obviously, enormous manufacturing capability in Shanghai. So what I think we're likely to see is a, is a more um, is, a, is certainly a tougher American approach than there was under the Obama administration. No question about that. Um, but it's not going to be driven by quite the same political opportunity and ideology that you see under the Trump administration. 